Hello, um, just got back from BTS. Um, this first video is just going to be like my what I got and my opinions on the BTS. Then the second video is going to be me rehousing them and trying to feed them. So if you just want to hear about what I got on the show, just watch this video. If not, watch the second as well. <laughs> not fussed. Okay, um, so there was a couple that I did see that I liked and I didn't buy, so I'm just going to mention them quick. Um, I saw B Vagon. Um, Jewy female for like 20 quid. So the Dacia species Madagascar seem to be blown up in the hobby at the moment. I've seen absolutely loads of them. Um, Capt Miri Arginatus or something. Capt Miri Arginatus or something weird. Saw them and I saw Lassidora Cristatus. But a lot of them were from the foreign dealers. And to my knowledge, Lassidora Cristatus is Nandu Chromatis. It's a Nandu, I definitely know that. Um, it could just be a rumour, I could be wrong, but that, from what I've heard, that's the truth. So, yeah, um, I'll just show you quickly what I've got. So I'm going to start with the smallest, I bought two of these. Um, these are first malt, so second in stars to me and you. Um, just in the corner. Looks very much like Ferrocosa, but it isn't. I'll show you the second one first and I'll tell you what they are. Um, steamed up a bit, but that's just because they've just, I've only just got back. And then that's the other one. These are Gramostola Grosser. Um, these are the biggest Gramostola. Um, they are bigger than the Pulchra and the Pulchra Peas. And these are, you can tell they're going to be big if this is the. Um, second malt spiderlings because that's about two three centimeters so good size I got them for ten pound each and um, sadly my good friend mystic spid couldn't make it to the show so I'm actually bought her one of them and I'm gonna grow it on and send it her um, hopefully we're both female so we're both a female but yeah um, bought one for her just because she couldn't make it to the show um, shame but um, at least I bought her a present. This one um, is very fast. It is a Avicularia versicolor. Oh, give me a second. Avicularia versicolor. And it is a juvenile female. Um, very active. Um, literally on the way back, it was just constantly walking around. Um, very nice little tarantula. I did have a male that matured out, um, but this is a confirmed female, and that was twenty pounds. Um, let's say they were ten pounds each. Yeah, so it's twenty-five pounds for a confirmed female of a reverse colour. Very, very good deal. And um, last but not least, um, definitely not least, one of my favourite tarantulas, and it's an adult female. Um, I'll oh, just be a second. I'll just get the tape off. It is a Avicularia later. Um, I do my, like my Avicularias. I haven't got many at the moment. I've only got Species Peru Purple. Um, so this one is very nice and it's another female. They are a dwarf Avic. Um, so they don't get very big. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you her. She probably is defensive. Blakers are one of the most defensive. Avix. So that's her. It's very, very nice tarantula. Um, surprisingly, if it's an adult, they don't get very big. Um, only a couple of inches, probably ma the max out at about four inches, so not a very big Avic, three, four inches. And yeah, adult female. So very, very nice. And um, pick these up. As I mentioned, there was a couple of us I saw, but I wasn't overly interested in getting them. There was some nice stuff there, but um, honest opinion of the BTS, it's a bit overrated. Um, I go to quite a few shows, and like there was a lot there. I'm going to admit that there was a lot of stuff there, but the problem is it seemed to be repeating itself. There wasn't like there were a lot of pokies. There were a lot of um, like your Lassiodoras, your Ferrofosa. There were a lot of the same ones, so it wasn't very diverse. Um, there was a lot of good stuff there, don't get me wrong, but I go to a lot of shows and I see a lot, um, lot of the same thing. And it was pretty much a lot of the same thing, but in bigger numbers. Um, 
don't get me wrong, it's a very, very good show to go to. Can't complain about that. Um, very well organised and stuff like that. It's in Coventry and the venue is very big. Um, it was sold out, all the tables, so every table was full. Um, a lot of, There were a lot of nice people there. Um, so, yeah, um, I do advise it, um, anyone to go. It was a very good show. I got these. I um, only spent um, £70, so they were... Ten pound each. The first colour female was twenty five, and the a later was twenty five. Um, very nice tarantulas. Uh, can't complain at any of the prices really. Quite happy with that. Um, very very cheap for a first colour and a later. Very very cheap and grossy and never see. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to watch the next video, um, I'm going to rehouse and try and feed them. Um, if not, you don't have to. It's just. Um, that's why I've separated it because some people aren't too interested about that just interested in my opinion of the show not even that, just what I've got sometimes so yeah, picked up these, this is my BTS pickups um, I will be entering this in the uh, what's it called, Tranquil Addicts competition I think it is somewhat like you do a BTS video so this is my BTS video which is my pickups um, so yeah, just thought I'd mention that because it's kind of a shout out two ways if you get what I mean. So if he, so if I do win, he gives me a shout out. I'm giving him a shout out back. It's uh, it's hard to explain. It's just what I'm doing, like I mentioned, Mystic Spit. Um, yeah, because she couldn't go. Sad about that, but yeah, I got her a present at least. So yeah, that's pretty much it. My BTS pickups. Um, yeah, so I'll just rehouse them, and you'll see that in my next video. So yeah, same bit, people. Bye.